All right, so this is a little tutorial on how to use the Serif Draw Plus 4 package, which is the freeware drawing application, uh, to do your DNA molecules. So um, what you got here is some various tools around, uh, around the interface here and uh, color tabs and stuff like that. So I'll show you how to use some of that, but uh, we're not going to get into anything too extensive here. So what we want to do is draw um, a chain of nucleotides down the page, and we're going to have to start with... Now, let's say we start with the sugar. So I'm going to come over here. I'm going to choose uh, one of these shapes uh, to do my sugar with, and might as well grab uh, that circle there. And I'm going to draw this uh, right in the middle of this pink box here. And to get a perfect circle, I'm going to hold down the Control key. All right, so that's already filled with uh, a particular color. You could come over here, and, and while that's selected, okay, see it's not selected there, just click on it. And uh, you could change that to any color you like. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stick with that red for the time being. So that is our sugar. Um, I might want to make that a little bit smaller, actually. And uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to create a phosphate group so that I can go sugar, phosphate, sugar, phosphate all the way down the page. So I'm going to deselect that, come over here, and I'm going to choose another shape. And I like this, this teardrop shape here. And uh, I think I'm going to go for maybe a blue color like that. And I'm going to draw it on the page, just pull down and stretch it out. All right, now um, what you can see is immediately when I let go of that, I got this strange sort of thing up here, which is the node uh, adjuster. And if you just drag that into the middle, you can straighten that up so you can change the shape of this thing. So say I draw it right in the middle, and I just want to move that a bit. And that's going to represent the phosphate group, but I don't want that to be on top of the sugar. I want it to be behind. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select it. Actually, I'm going to switch to the arrow. And then you can see that, uh, that it's selected. I'm going to right click and I'm going to choose send to back. All right, so now that's, that's in behind the red sugar. I can still move it anywhere I want. I can resize it if I want it a bit bigger. And that's going to represent the phosphate group. So at this point, um, I've got the sugar and the phosphate group drawn, and I want to put some labels on this, and I just want to copy the, this whole structure with the labels a number of times to go down the left side and then down the right side of the sugar phosphate backbone. So I'm going to deselect that by just clicking somewhere in here. I'm going to come over to the text box, click on that, and then I'm going to drag out sort of how big I want my, my letter to be. As soon as you let go, what you do is you type in a letter. So I'm going to hit the cap button, and I'm going to hit S for sugar. That's all that I want for my text, so I'm going to click the arrow now, and then you can just drag this and move it to where you want. So I've got S for sugar, and now I'm going to, I'll do another one, and I want phosphate, so that's going to be a smaller one. So I let go, and then I've already got the shift selected, so I'm going to hit P, and that'll give me a capital P, and I want to change that maybe to white, and I'm going to move that up a little bit. Now you can also use the, the arrows to move things around a little bit. Okay, I'm going to dra actually drag that. All right, let's say I was uh, satisfied with Actually, that's a little bit big, so I'm going to make that a little bit smaller. Grab that and try to center it a little bit more. All right, let's say that's, uh, that's good enough for the time being. What, what you want to do now is just copy this whole, whole mess of stuff that you got all the way down the page. So I'm going to click and drag around that and that selects the whole thing and then I'm going to right click and I'm going to say group and now that whole thing is a group that I can move around and I can resize it uh, however I like for the whole thing so now that I've got it selected I'm going to come up here to the copy button hit copy then I'm going to hit paste and then I'm just going to drag that into place okay check check that I like the connection of that yeah, all right I'm going to put it right there and I hit paste again there's another one, and then I'm going to hit paste again. All right, let me just uh, get this in, into position that I like. All right, good enough. Right? All right, so now I've got um, four sugar phosphate components for the backbone, and I want to do the, the right side really easily. I'm just going to grab that whole thing. I'm going to right click and say group. All right, so I should get, yeah, I've got it all. And now I'm going to copy that. I'm going to hit paste. And I've got another one there. And I'm just going to move it to where I want it. It looks like it's roughly straight on. I'm not using any grid or anything like that. Now I'm going to grab just the whole thing and just, just move everything sort of into the middle. 
So we're getting where we want to go, and it's starting to look not too bad. Well, now the next thing that we're going to need to do is draw some nitrogenous bases coming off of the sugars here, go over to the right and, and over to the left, and make sure they've got complementary shapes, and then we'll have to label them as well. This is looking a little bit small to be working on, so I'm just going to bring up the size a little bit by clicking that um, magnifying glass and move her up here. All right, so I'm going to lay down the shape for nitrogenous base, and I like this one here because I can get sort of the pointed side for one, one base and the the indent there for the other base so I'm gonna, I want to I want to choose that I'm just going to sketch that out onto my uh, onto my page there and just sort of move it over I'm not going to mess around with the nodes or anything I'm I'm satisfied with that um, I think I will change the color to maybe let's see what would look good let's say we go with that now I'm going to go back to the arrow it's just another way of selecting it and keep the selection and I'm just going to uh, right click that send it back and position this where I want it. I got to keep in mind I'm going to have to have a letter in there. Um, so there's one. Now, uh, since this is going to be just four nucleotides long, uh, and you're going to have to have adenine, thymine, cytosine, guanine, there's going to be some repeats. So uh, I think I'm going to, going to grab that and bring it down, uh, paste another one, and maybe I'll have that as my as my third one all, as well. Actually, I'm going to put that on the other side. I'll show you what I'm going to do in a minute. Sorry, I'm backtracking. I'm going to bring back up here. Um, so this is this is going to be the adjoining base, and I'm just going to make that an alternate uh, of that color, maybe uh, maybe something like that, so it shows a sort of complementary. And I want to move that in behind the sugar. So right click, send it back, uh, deselect, and that's looking okay. We can adjust the space uh, in between in, in a while. So let's say that's going to be my adenine thymine. Might as well go ahead and put some text on there. So you hit the text button, drag out. Uh, a space. Make sure that your caps are on if that's what you want to use. You're going to press a T and it uh, looks like I got it the same size as the phosphate there roughly. Actually I like that size. I'm going to change that to white. Uh, just deselect for a second and, and that's that's looking okay to me. So so I want to put another letter over here in A. So I'm going to grab that again and I'm going to hit the copy button, paste, and move it up to say there double click on it now and that'll bring up the text uh, text box so you can edit it and here you can select your fonts your sizes and stuff I'm just gonna highlight that and change that to an A uh, for adenine and then you gotta hit the checkbox and that puts it there so now we've got adenine and thymine uh, I'll just move that over a slight bit alright so let's say that's okay um, what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to grab I'm gonna select the uh, the triangle there the well, the shape there. Uh, I'm also actually going to try to select that plus that. I think I got that. And I'm going to copy. Let's see if this works. Paste. Yeah, I got the whole thing. So what I did there was I selected the background and I held the shift button and I also selected the T. And when you do that, you can add to your selection. So you select one, hit sh pre press and hold the shift, click the next thing while you're holding shift and that way you get to select both, th both things. So I'm going to take this and maybe put it down there. I want the whole thing moved to the back. So can I not move it all to the back? Send it back. There we go. All right. So that goes in there. And uh, I don't know. It's kind of going weird. So it looks like I broke the group. So I'm just going to grab things separately and move them along. That's that's, that's good enough. Uh, for this one, I think I'll just I'll just select the the pink thing. Copy, paste, move that under, right-click, send to back looks good enough actually I might have to bring it out a bit more to put the letter in it grab the letter select it copy paste move the letter down there and there you go we're okay now one thing we haven't talked about of course is saving so uh, I should have saved uh, long ago so I'm gonna go file save as and let's call this uh, DNA final this is going to be my final image we have to talk about a, a screenshot uh, in a bit so I've saved that, so everything's good. We can continue. So let's go ahead and do another nitrogenous base for this sugar. I'm just going to come up here, and I think I'm going to choose uh, this structure here, this shape, whatever. And I'm going to draw that in, and you'll see what I'm doing in a second. 